All right, guys, I wanted to give Grasshopper a little love today. We finally got some units in stock. This is the most Grasshoppers. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. This is the most mowers we've had in stock all year. So we're very excited. I know the grass is a little brown right now, but uh, man, we got some inventory. And all the prices are fixing to go up, it sounds like, from the manufacturer. So I, I'm hearing Grasshopper's gonna have a price increase in September. Um, I'm already got some 23 models right here on my floor. So uh, I kind of want to start out with just telling y'all, y'all probably seen my old videos. Uh, Grasshopper is known as being the most reliable brand out of all the 36 brands in the industry. Uh, they tend to be in the shop the least. They, you know, over the, over the time of the ownership of the mower, they just tend to just break the least. Uh, an example, they have a $8.99 uh, it may be a little higher now, maybe like $10 now. Uh, deck bearing, it's just a little ag bearing about this big. I guess you know, I can always bring it out and show y'all. But they just hardly ever go out. We're kind of surprised if they go out, you know, before 1,200 hours, honestly. So I want to start by, I've got a used grasshopper. So these are pretty hard to get. Uh, I don't get a used front mount grasshopper clean. This is a 725D. It's got the grammar seat, 61 inch cut, and this lawn mower. It's fourteen thousand dollars. It's got one hundred forty-four hours on it. Uh, it was mowed to. It was made. It was. Uh, it was mowed a wedding venue here. They sold the wedding venue and no longer need the lawn mower. So that'd be a good clean mower for somebody. Okay, so let's go to the one hundred series. <clears throat> this is the cheapest grasshopper that they make. But what's really cool is about this mower, even though it is the cheapest grasshopper, is still all commercial grade. So it's still got the same deck that's on the big grasshopper I showed you just now. And it's got the big spindles, same spindle setup. And uh, this mower is Parker HT10 uh, e HTE transmissions. They're very smooth, very expensive. Um, they usually have a Kohler uh, Command, I mean, I'm sorry, Kohler Confidant or this Briggs Cyclonic. And I'm a very big fan of the Briggs Cyclonic now since they did the Vanguard blocks on them. But no, this is a good little mower. A lot of people complain that the back tires are a little small. That is what this transmission's rated for, to live the, the longest. But it is a tough little, just simple machine. <clears throat> and we just, guys, we hardly ever work on these. And I don't have a lot of, com the commercial guys kind of ripped this one apart. I've had a few commercial guys that, that did, they, they, they were putting five, 600 hours a year on this. I wouldn't recommend that. Even though it, it's made for that, I would recommend going up to the 226 if you're gonna do commercial. But if you're doing a, if you've got a pretty big yard, homeowner, that'd be a good start for you. These mowers are gonna be in the 7,000 range. I'll give you an example, this is a 52 inch. I only have one, but uh, 7811 is what that comes out to. And then we also, it, it comes in a 61, a 48, and also this little 41 inch deck. So what's nice about this little 41 it's got this little round edge deck and it's a really pretty cut and that's good for your back gates. This little machine here has that Briggs Pro with that Parker HTE. And I've actually sold a few of these this year. Uh, 6705 is what that more comes out to. And man, that's really not a bad buy. All right, so normally I'd show you a 226, but we are out this year. Uh, we haven't had many at all this year. So I'm gonna jump up to the 328. The 300 series is Grasshopper's new design. They did that uh, just a few years back. And uh, this goes to a 4400 transmission, which is a beast of a transmission. Uh, you've got the, the slanted LED light uh, uh, mounts for that, so you can throw the LEDs on it. This one has a Vanguard 28 horse fuel injected motor, which is really hard to get this year. I did upgrade the back tires on this one. Those tires just tend to grip a little better for me. Uh, this mower has an incredible and I'll show you Grasshopper's deck system. They use a belt here, like a mule belt, to go back to the pump, and then they also, or to the clutch, and they also use this outside belt, so there's a lot less slippage on this belt system. Guys, I hardly ever replace one of these pulleys, uh, the spring, any of these components on the deck. Like, we're hardly ever working on these, unless you're just sitting in the barn for three or four years in the bearing drive. Uh, this is a 328, this is the regular, this is a factory seat, it's Cordura, it's very comfortable. It doesn't tend to get sticky to you. And then uh, what else we got? Grasshopper set pretty low. So they are a pretty good heel machine. That's a Vanguard fuel injected 28. We've had really good luck with Vanguard. 
we've only had a few minor problems. One one guy personally, he's one of my friends, man. He's had three little computers put on this mower, and uh, so every once in a while we have you know some issues. All right, so this is a, that was a 52 inch, and uh, let me show you a price. Okay, so let me tell you the prices. So I'm just gonna show you what we got on our tag. This is the sale price. This is retail, so you're gonna be somewhere in between there on the dealers. Um, this machine here is the 61 inch version. And so you just got a wider stance, a little bit bigger deck, and the price goes up just a little bit to go to the 61. It's still the 28 horse Vanguard. And uh, that's stock seat. And I, I did pay a little, you pay about $140 to have foldable roll bars. That's a pretty good option for you. Um, and I kind of skipped, this was kind of an in between these two. This is a little 42 inch, 524. Or you can get a 52 inch in this. That's a power fold front mount mower. Um, it's a Briggs Cyclonic on this one, and uh, or a Vanguard on the 526. That mower right there is good for a little small yards. That mower is 8708. Uh, I'm sorry, I skipped that one. All right, and then let's go to the 337, which is kind of your next step up. Now I'm skipping a 329, a 335. Again, I just don't have these units. So this is your 337. So this is just the big brother of the 328. And this is what we call the 300G series is what I'm showing you. Uh, this has got the LED lights already. The grammar seat is stock. Um, this is pretty much a stock 337. This is how it comes, which is really cool. It already comes with a lot of features. Your big difference on this, this has 5,400 massive hydro gear transmissions. And this has the 37 horse fuel injected Vanguard. Now they are going to the 40. And I do have one in stock that I'll show you here in just a second. I love the rear end on this thing. And uh, that might have really botched you up. <clears throat> but uh, got my gimbal going again. So underneath, there's not really underneath, anything underneath the seat on the grasshoppers. That's just your giant gas tank. Uh, I love your, your electronic gas gauge. It's pretty accurate. And uh, what else we got? Just a massive stance on this thing. This one's one of their one of their better heel machines because how wide, how low it sits. Um, it's a 12 gallon gas tank on all the big grasshoppers. So that's awesome too. That machine, I've got a couple of guys that this is their favorite mower and they run, one of them has nine mowers. 13, 559 is kind of what you're looking at. That is a 10% off retail. That's about what we price them for as a dealer. Um, all right, now we're gonna jump to the front mount mower. So I only have a couple. I'm the first one in Texas to get this. So this is kind of a big thing. This is a 40 horse Vanguard. This is the new 940 40 horse fuel injected Vanguard. This thing is an amazing machine. This has giant uh, separated pump and wheel motors. I call them old school. I did twill this one on the front and back. <clears throat> this is a 61 inch power fold deck. You can get it at 72. Um, it does now come with a stock grammar seat. Something different that, that it, it's coming with this year is this hydraulic deck lift. So if y'all don't know what this is on a grasshopper, this is an instant pop-up. So when you push this button, your deck instantly pops up so you can go over a curb or kind of turn around in a circle. Uh, your regular deck lift is still right there. Now a lot of people are paying uh, about 180 bucks and having a button right here where you can put your deck lift right here uh, so you don't have to bend over down there. But uh, when you do get the deck out on a grasshopper, if you'll notice, your deck hatch right there on the end. But mowing with the out front grasshopper changes the whole dynamic of mowing. So this is a, a full blown folding deck. So the mid mounts just don't float near as good as the front mount. You can you can contour, you can dress out a lot better. You can go underneath the fence rows better. You can go underneath bushes, you can go over the water with these things. These are very, very usable. And a lot of my old school guys, once they get one of these, they never go back to a mid mount. Now the mid-mount is more productive in my eyes. I can just make more money on a mid-mount, but this is more like a Cadillac. I'm gonna show y'all how easy this thing is. So this is how you get underneath the deck. And even the little one does this. This is shaft drive deck. It is, uh, that's those massive grasshopper spindles. I think Xmart uses the same kind of style 
but we have those little nine dollar bearings in there which are great uh the new baffle system is cutting the wet grass a lot better a lot of you guys have heard grasshopper didn't cut very well didn't discharge the grass this new design that they've done in 17 i think is when they upgraded this makes it cut so much better and it was a minor design they did in the airflow but uh that mower is going to bump you over 20 because i got the twills on it and it's a 21 222 with the twills with the top and that's kind of how i dressed up i put a perry top on it these are made in waco texas uh any grasshopper dealer has that top in grasshopper which is i don't know where they get theirs made from you can also put a guardian fan system on here for about 400 something bucks which just kind of keeps helps keep, keep the dust off of you keeps you a little cooler and this is uh this is a diesel grasshopper we're very very excited to get this we hardly ever we hardly have seen any new diesel mowers at all this year and uh this is 725d 61 inch cut this is 25 kubota diesel i upgraded the roll bar upgraded the seat this grammar msg 65 and i put twills on the back and uh that's about a you know, 300 dollar option that's pretty nice to add them you'll never have a flat they ride better and then it's got that legendary kubota diesel on it we hardly ever have any problems out of this thing uh but yeah this mower here comes puts you in right at 19 611 so it's a little cheaper than that 900 what a lot of people don't realize on the 700 series is i gotta show you all this this is the smoothest drive you can get out of a grasshopper this has their own t6 drive system that was made exclusively for them this has got the combined left and right pump built into one unit Oh, man that thing is so smooth and so responsive i'm a giant fan of that t6 drive the 900 splits the the pumps there's just not enough room under there for it goes old school but the, the 700s and 600 has that right there so that's a really nice setup anyways i just wanted to kind of give grasshopper some love today again I, i'm really happy when somebody purchases a grasshopper because they are usually the least mad at me over the years, uh, their bills tend to be a little cheaper on the small stuff and very, very rare of, of fix, the small fixes like brake cables, throttle cables, uh, bearings, pulleys, stuff like that. I just don't see too many on the grasshopper. Now, some I've had some major electrical issues, stuff like that. Uh, my other gripe is, is that the battery is underneath the fender, and so it's a little hard for me to just jump one off, you know. Um, but other than that, man, I've been really pleased with them. Their cut quality is up really they're about the closest to skag that i've got as far as the cut goes that slant nose deck just performs so well um so so yeah they were skag and them were pretty much head to head i think as far as competitors go they're very very sim similar in machine as far as the mid mounts go the front mount just puts grasshopper to another level you're going to pay a little bit more for front mount but once you do you will you'll just hate the ride of the mid mounts you know but uh yeah so that's my grasshopper section I'll give y'all a little tour, uh, skag section. A little weird, because we're trying to get all these push mowers put together. But I do have quite a few skags still outside we gotta put together. And uh, my, of course, my bad boy. We sell a lot of bad boy in this house, so bad boy does dominate here. Um, hustlers, I finally got a lot of hustlers in stock. And uh, so I'll show you my hustlers. You know, hustler is uh, the preferred mower of our city. That's their favorite mower, 66 inch Hustler Super Z. And uh, got a few Hustlers, got a few side by sides. And uh, man, they are unloading mowers on me. So I'll show you something you don't get to normally see. I'll show you my bone pile back here. So uh, bad boys got 10 more they're dropping on me this week. I don't know where in the world we're gonna put them. But uh, bad boys are all around there, all down the fence. And this is the first year I've had to keep some uncovered, but I'm going to try to find a place to put them. I usually borrow somebody else's warehouse to put these in. But this is the ocean of bad boys that we got in. And we also have one diesel bad boy, which is the only one I've gotten all year. That is around 18.9. That is a Perkins uh, 25 horse diesel suspension, $1,000 seat, uh, three gauge deck. That's a really nice mower. So, uh, yeah, it's just a bigger version of that one. And uh, that's KG Mowers, y'all. 623 North Main. And uh, we're located in the beautiful Paris, Texas, six blocks north of downtown. And uh, we'd love to see y'all. And uh, 
Love to spend some time with y'all and educate y'all on the mowers. And I appreciate y'all looking at my channel and watching my videos. And uh, my encouragement to you today is just to just to get holy, righteous. And uh, just if you're, you're going to live for Christ, just go ahead and live for him 100%. And uh, turn away from sin and repent. I don't think a Christian sinner is a, or a saint and a sinner opposite. So when you learn to become a saint, you learn to follow Christ. I believe that, um, oh man, I believe that you'll be a new creature. Your old man will die and your new man will be reborn and your new man will no longer want sin. No longer, no longer will want to uh, mess up the relationship with God. And so I believe that's what it means to become a saint is to turn away from sin and uh from a sinner to a saint that's what jesus wants to turn us into take something beautiful take something horrible and make it into something beautiful man y'all have a good day and uh i hope god blesses y'all today and if not i hope you're blessed in your struggle and in your pain and just continue to give thanks because we're lucky to even be alive let alone be able to say the name of jesus what a what an honor it is to be able to just speak the word of Jesus out loud and know that we're not going to be struck by lightning or or just completely explode right then. You know, the name of God was so holy that uh, you know God's people wouldn't even speak it out loud. They couldn't even spell it on a piece of paper. And uh, man, for us to get to say the name of Jesus is so powerful to me. But anyways, I love you guys. Have a nice day, and uh, hopefully we'll see y'all. One of these days, we'll be able to help you out.